Hello everyone and welcome to Biblical Prepping. This is Judith Garten and I'm here with a prepper portion. This morning we're going to do something really quick and easy. Um, all you need is chia seeds. Now some people prefer to use the whole seeds. I prefer to use the ground seeds. So these are already ground. I bought them in a bag and I keep this container in my freezer of ground chia seeds. So you need your chia seeds, which I have measured out here. Two and a half teaspoons, which is about the quantity I prefer to use for this recipe. And I have here a little over a cup of frozen strawberries. This recipe will work for with um, just about any fruit um, that is soft, such as berries. You can use strawberries, blueberries, uh, blackberries, black raspberries, raspberries. Um, I have seen it done with peaches that are smashed as well. And what we are going to be making is chia seed jam. Very simple recipe. And as I said, this is a little over a cup of berries. This is a little over two teaspoons. The normal recipe calls for one cup of berries and one tablespoon. I like to use a little bit less. Now I will say that when you use light colored fruits, such as peaches, nectarines, and things along those lines, yes, it can work, but it will have your typical gray flecks of chia seed in it. I like to use it for blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries because they're easier to hide and just look like a part of the jam. So what I did was I took these out several hours ago, first thing this morning, and I am going to smash them now. They are, oh, a little bit frozen still, so we're gonna smash these. If you need to warm them up a little, you can do that in a pan on the top of the stove or if you use a microwave we don't so I'm just going to continue to smash them until they are soft Now, as you can see, they are very soft and juicy and will make a nice jam consistency. If you prefer to have them a little less lumpy for your jam, you can also run them through your food processor or your blender. Now, the next thing you have to do is simply take your chia seeds. There are a few more lumps in here I found. Simply take your chia seeds and sprinkle them in while you mix. Now what will happen is the chia seeds will absorb a lot of the moisture and the water and your berry jam will become a gelled consistency. You will need to allow your jam to sit for five to 15 minutes I need to add the rest of the chia seeds. We've got them nicely mixed in and now I'm going to set this aside and we'll come back in a few to see how it's turned out. All right, our chia seed jam has now officially set for about 15 minutes. And if you can look at it, it's much thicker than it was before. It has a jam consistency. It will go nicely on some toast with um, butter and that's probably how we're going to be eating it today. Now, some people do not like the consistency of it because it does sometimes have a little bit of a grainy feeling with the chia seeds in it. That's why I prefer to do the ground chia seeds. I'm gonna taste test and see how this one batch goes. Don't even notice that they're in there. Can you add sugar? Yes, if you would like to. We don't generally add sugar because 
we don't eat much sugar. So, um, and these berries are sweet enough that I don't need to add any sugar or sweetener. You can also add liquid stevia. That will also mix in very well. So, there you go, there's your jam. I might try and do another one with blueberries at some point in the future so that you can see how that turns out because the color of the blueberries definitely hides the chia seeds. Very well. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it and blessings and shalom.